uh oh, you may not have permission to use network contact, you know, blah, blah, blah. And this is access denied. It's like, what the heck? Brian from Logic Pro Hacks. Today I'm going to talk about how to share between different computers when you're doing music. Uh, one of the things that you may run into sometimes, I run into this all the time. I, I use a Windows computer and I also use a Mac computer. And a lot of times the Windows computer, especially with the newer Windows 10 and Windows 7, even XP, will not let you or connect to a share on a Mac computer so you can transfer files within your own little network, say like you want to transfer MP3s or whatever. I just want to just put this up there just to even remind my own self because I forget this. And it's a really easy thing to do. I have a ESXi server, a special type of VMware server. I'll go ahead and open that up. I'll just show you the virtual machine library here. And I connect it with VMware Fusion the setting in here. You just go in, you just go do connect to server, and I can actually connect to an uh, ESXi server. Now, the cool thing about this is I can run multiple instances of different OSs. I can even run Mac on this thing if I wanted to. I just haven't had the need for that. You know, and maybe it's something I could do later on down the road. Now, I have an old XP that I use. It's VM. And here it is. It's connect to it. Do show window. Now you can be, you can even do this with just a regular laptop. But the main thing here that I want to talk about. So the first thing that you're going to really going to look into and make sure that you have set on your computer is to make sure that you go into your settings and that's in your applications folder and your system preferences right here. This little gear icon. That's what you're looking for. And when you open that thing up, I actually, when I open it up, I just go in and I just right click, keep in dock. So that way I always have access to it. Now in here, you're going to have a little thing right here. One or two things that you want to make note of. Your sharing button. You just want to make sure that this is clicked right here. File sharing. And then you want to go in here under options. And just make sure you have something in there shared. You know, by default, to have something that's shared, but don't really worry about this part right here. The only thing you really have to worry about here is, is options. And then you go into here, and you want to make sure that both of these are checked. Share files using AFP and SMB. And then you just click the account that you want to have both of these shared for. And I just check it right there. And then it'll prompt me for a password. You can just hit done. And that's all you have to do right here. Just make note of this right here. This is the name of my computer. You don't have to worry about the dot local. Just this right here. Okay. And so I'm going to go ahead and just throw this on the side so you can see what I'm trying to do here. What happens is you'll be on a Windows 7, XP. It does not matter. Some kind of Windows program. And then you'll go in here and you go to your run. Or if you're on Windows 10, you can just type in run you'll get this little box or in your search or like in Windows 7 uh, type in the little search area of the name that you're trying to do you just type in backslash backslash and then the name of your computer which is suggested right here and mine is Brian's Mac Pro now check this out I'll go ahead and I'll type it in and I'll say uh oh you may not have permission to use network contact you know blah 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 and this is access denied it's like, what the heck? You know, you might get something like this and you, you'll you get the prompt for it and you'll go ahead and you type in your username and then you'll type in your password and you can even say remember password. Here's the weird thing. Oops, look at that. It, like it's prompting for some, the actual computer name in front of the of your username and that's totally wrong because that is not your computer name your computer name is brian's you know whatever it is from from here this is your computer name right here that's your computer name and it's definitely not this one this is a computer name for this guy right here 
But somehow, you know, if you try to put in that computer name and you say Brian's Mac Pro, you hit OK, it'll just kind of pause, look like it's doing something, and it'll go right back to it. You could do work group. It doesn't matter. It, it's just not going to work. But it's a really easy fix. All you have to do is just go in and run, type in secpool.msc. Go on into your network security land manager, authentication level, right click or double click on it and change this session security if negotiated to this one right here. Send NTLM version two response only. Now I'm using El Capitan and this will work just fine. That's the only thing you really have to set. It'll give you some warning, say yes, hit okay. And you can close this out and then go back into here and then you could type in your computer name okay and then you just type in your username and your username will be you can find your username right in here say say that that'll be your username right there and just type in your password and we'll go ahead and select remember because i know it'll work okay and boom ta-da since i'm admin i'm going to be able to see all my external drives everything that i want to be able to connect to from here and do a little bit of music programming on a virtual machine. I hope this helps someone out there. Please subscribe, give me a like, more of this networking kind of stuff with music. And if you have any questions, concerns, drop me a comment. I usually respond back within the hour or so. Remember my friends, big groovy.